Gloves are off on another confrontation at the Capitol. The fight over driver's licenses for illegal immigrants is back on again at the Roundhouse tomorrow. Today, the Associated Press released the results of its own independent investigation that shows thousands of cases of fraud involving fake addresses. News 13's Nancy Laughlin is live in the Newsplex with the story. Dick, tonight we spoke with the governor who says this is one more example why this law must be repealed. But members of an immigrants' rights group claims the investigation actually works in their favor. New Mexicans can expect to see a whole lot more of this at the Roundhouse as lawmakers begin debating controversial legislation that could do away with the law that allows illegal immigrants to get a New Mexico driver's license. I will fight for the repeal of this law until it takes place because New Mexicans expect me to. Tonight, Governor Martinez sat down with us to talk about the latest findings from the Associated Press, an investigation that shows a pattern of potential fraud by immigrants trying to game the system. The AP reports in the past five years, 48 people listed their home address as an Albuquerque smoke shop. Between 2007 and 2009, 17 others put an auto repair shop as their address. And around the same time, 31 people claimed to live at the same mobile home. Bottom line, this is not an immigration issue. This is a public safety issue where it's not compassionate or right that people from all over the world that are here illegally are being taken advantage of. The governor believes these are cases of fraud. What she doesn't know is how these people are using those IDs. And she will remind lawmakers of that when the debate begins tomorrow. But supporters of the policy plan to fight too. If this weren't an anti immigration issue, then we would safeguard the immigrants who live, work, and pay taxes in our state. Marcella Diaz is the director of a group called We Are a United People. She says the AP's investigation actually works in her favor. She says since the law kicked in in 2003, 90,000 foreign nationals have obtained a New Mexico driver's license. She claims only a handful of people have abused the law. It doesn't make sense to repeal this law when over 97 percent of us followed the rules to get a license legitimately. Now, you may be wondering why MVD officials did not catch on that the same addresses were being used over and over. That's because MV MVD's aging computer system does not automatically detect when multiple licenses are issued to the same address. Back to you. All right, Nancy. 170 addresses in the state were used to obtain 10 or more licenses over the last eight years, and those addresses alone accounted for nearly 2,700 licenses.